Hello? Good morning. Um, <laughs> I'm boiling hot. I know what you're thinking. Moan, moan, moan. Too cold, too cold, too hot. Yeah, well, it's true. It's very hot today. Anyway, I've, uh, I'm just going to nip down to Porthcawl and um, have a cup of tea there. I got up too late again. I wanted to get up about you know seven o'clock and get on my way and uh, go somewhere a little bit more interesting but uh, but it's quite warm already today so we're just gonna go down and get some uh, sea breeze all very good does anybody else suffer from uh, what I can only describe as faffing about and uh, it's just taken ages to get my stuff on, get all my gear on. You know, mess about with the camera stuff and... Oh dear. Before I left the house I was sweating. There must be an easier way, you know, uh, to cut down on all this faff. Oh yeah, Porth Cool. And over there, you won't see it, but there's the sea. So I haven't been uh, around for quite a while, I don't know, I think about three or four weeks um, due to other commitments. Thank you, that's almost given me a heart attack. And uh, I don't know, just life tends to get in the way a little bit, doesn't it? We went up, um, me and my other half went up to Talabont on Usk yesterday, a oh, beautiful area. I've been up there on the bike, but we took the car yesterday and uh, there was a couple of GS's, the 1250 GS's, um, stood outside the pub there, I tell you what, oh, they were, I would say less than a year old and uh, oh, very nice, I did get a little bit of um, bike envy I must admit I've taken my bike out of the garage here and uh, I don't know if you can see but it is covered in dust not very good I should learn to put the cover on oh, there we are ah, it's quite a nice breeze I can feel it already birds as well I can feel it already very nice the only problem is uh, is the traffic in it? Oh look, oh my god, don't you just love the summer? <laughs> uh, so I've been here many times before, as you can probably gather. We're just seven seven miles away from my house. Yeah, let's see who's up here. I don't know if there'll be too many out because it's a uh, there's a few, there's at least one biker I can see. Where am I going to park? Oh, nowhere, nowhere. We can get in here. Ah, oh, there we are. There we are, catch you in a bit. Well, I have to say that was beautiful. Nice cup of uh, Americano. I did, I did mention in my last video that um, I was going to get a new lid. And was debating on what type to get, you know. A shoey, a shoe berth, uh, you know. And somebody said, try the HJC um, Rafa. 70 and uh, I've been doing a bit of research into that and it, I have to say it looks fairly good um, it's got some uh, it's got some very good v reviews oh my god isn't that lovely look oh, so nice and um, 
I was going to go down to the beach, but I don't think I'll bother there now. Anyway, so uh, I, I'm still a bit undecided which which to get. Um, and as a result, I haven't got anything. <laughs> I am a master at achieving nothing. Wow. It's nice to be off the main road and uh, get into this um, area. <laughs> Although you've got to watch what's coming the other way, obviously. Oh my god. Oh, your kid's playing in the river. It's uh, all that. Oh my good god. Good grief. I don't think women looked like that when I was young. We're just going to go down to Murthamau village and have a look at, uh, um, well, the village. <laughs> Probably parked near the old church. One of my, f one of my favorite places. Uh, I think I saw a vehicle coming over. Oh dear, can you believe I almost dropped it then? Look at that, oh yes. Oops, thanks. They've recently done all these cottages up. I believe they all, all these cottages, I believe they belong to the Murthamauer estate but, um, oops. here we are this is where I wanted to be My church. Okay, we're here now of St. Eltred's Church. No. God, that's in Landrup Major. This is St. Tylo Church in uh, Merthyr Mawr. I'll just uh, swing the camera around, you can have a look. There. Yeah, St. Tylo's. And there's the church in there. So before that, I'm going to insist that you have a look at my uh, my bike it's a little bit undercover here look beautiful isn't it absolutely beautiful oh there's a dog over there look we can say hello to the dog hello <laughs> hey hello hey what are you doing eh? <laughs> I thought he was coming to say hello to me, but uh, but no, he's more interested in the bike. I think. Hello there. What are you doing? Hey. Eh? Anyway, we'll uh, take a quick trip into the into the graveyard now. That so. Here we are, one of my favourite places, although I have to say, it's looking, uh, it's looking a little bit overgrown. You know, how beautiful a church is that, eh? Anyway, talking of things beautiful, you can look at me again now. And uh, we'll see if the church is open. Have a look. Yeah, there's a bit of a beehive up here, and uh, mm. mm -hmm. it's 
sadly, the church is closed. Look at that. Do you think they've got a woodworm problem here? Anyway, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a pity. And it's quite nice in there as well. Normally, you'd think it would be open probably still because of COVID and all that. I'm not sure. This is this is the back. Nice. Did I show you my Nick Sanders impression? You know, like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Love Nick Sanders, but that used to drive me mad. Wow. And here are a lot of old stones, headstones, dating back to the 11th century. All around the back of the church. It's a very, very nice day. Oh, by the way, there's, um, there's a sundial up there. Let's have a look here. And it's on the wall, which apparently is um, very interesting because it's on the wall. I wouldn't know how to tell the time on it. Anyway, we're gonna get back on the bike now and uh, just have a little run around the coast and uh, see what the sea looks like again. Wow. They really do need a gardener here. Okay, there's the beast. We'll get through the gate and uh, I'll catch you on, back on the bike in a minute. I'm not going to go to the coast because uh, I can see the amount, the amount of traffic going down there. Oh, we'll have a look at the uh, Oweni Priory here. Yeah, the amount of traffic going down there was horrendous. So, um... I think we'll leave it to a horrible, stormy day <laughs> when nobody's about. Oh dear, see? <laughs> that was worth coming down this way, wasn't it? Dear, oh dear. So down here is a 12th century uh, Oweni uh, Priory. never been in there, I don't think you can actually get in, I'm not sure. Here we are. Yeah, dating back to the 12th century. Oh dear, all very nice isn't it? So that's all, um, that says private, it's all private in there. My God, I'm overheating now. And, uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> keep out private property signs everywhere. So we turn left here. It should take us back up to the main road. A oh, birdie. That was a feathered bird. <laughs> ah, it's all very nice, isn't it? There's another entrance there, look. Oh, good God, do people live there? Yeah, I think they do. Okay, I'm getting in the way of people now. That's not good. Right, let's get a move on. 
going to go home. Oh, it's lovely to have the breeze. I got all my uh, my collar undone and everything. Oh, beautiful. Ah, there we are. Anyway, what we'll do, um, we'll call it a day and, you know, hopefully this has been of some sort of amusement to you and, you know, I'll, uh, I'll look forward to catching you in the next one. Thank you very, very much for watching. Cheers.